Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. As in the previous lecture, we covered about uh, Prometheus implementation using Ansible concepts. Now, in this video, we will be covering few concepts related to Ansible that is conditional and loops. In this video, I will be showing you one a small project in which we have to install multiple software in multiple systems in our infrastructure and making sure that if system is Linux based systems and if operating system is CentOS and operating system version is higher than 7, in that case the installation should proceed further or installation should skip. Means no changes should be done to the system if it is not CentOS 7 then our changes should be stopped or changes should be skipped. So now let us first understand these two concepts. What is exactly loop concept in Ansible and what is conditional concept in Ansible. So if we talk about Ansible loops, why exactly loop concept is used in Ansible? So sometimes you want to repeat a task multiple times. In computer programming, this is called a loops. Suppose you want to perform some repetitive task, then one way would be duplicate task for multiple time, something which can be quite tedious. Ansible loops are very effective to perform repetitive tasks with fewer line of code. The loop keyword executes the same task multiple times. It stores the value of each item in a variable called item. So instead of specifying the name of users to be added, simply specify the variable called item enclosed between double curly braces as shown in below. So what you have to do, suppose you have to call some names, just you have to do name column, then double curly braces, put it inside the quotes and then put in between of these curly braces, put item keyword. This will automatically call your variables and those variables will be used as at the place of name. I'll show you one example for this as well and one for conditional. So first let us understand what is conditional in Ansible. In Ansible, you can define conditions that will be evaluated before a task is executed. When a condition is not met, the task is then skipped. This is done with the when keyword which accepts expressions that are typically based on a variable or fact. In previous lectures, I explained you about the gather facts. So, lot of time what happens, your system, whenever you are running your Ansible playbooks, gets or gathers facts for other systems. So, on basis of those gathered, gathered facts, you can use your when conditions and you can evaluate any expressions. And accordingly, you can proceed further with execution of your playbooks. So, as I covered these two concepts, let us implement these concepts practically with real-time examples which we are using in our current industry work. Let us begin. So, the first, let us understand the loop concepts. So, in what is my requirement? My requirement is to install GitHub, install Docker, install Python, and install Java in a system. Now, suppose if you are not using loop concept, then how exactly this needs to be done? When we are not using the loop concepts, the same yum module needs to be repeated four times. One time for git, one time for docker, one time for python 3, one time for java. This can make your code very bigger. And suppose you have to install 100 softwares. It's really difficult to write so many lines of code. Instead of that, we are using the concept of loop and we are passing all the items in the loop and when name variable is trying to get the name of those softwares it is using the item variable and calling each value one by one in, which is present inside the loop so now what i'll show this is my node one and this is our ansible controller left side is ansible controller right side is our node one so i have installed these softwares previously so let me remove this software how to remove it yum remove your software name so i am removing it similar way yum remove python 3 hyphen y removing python similar way yum remove java hyphen y and then yum remove docker hyphen y 
docker hyphen one so and as you can see i have removed all the softwares in the target computer now before running this loop uh, concepts let us do one thing disable the gather facts right now i don't need any facts about those systems so you have to write one line gather underscore facts column and this is false now let us run our playbook so as we we have to write ansible hyphen playbook your playbook name then hyphen i and the inventory path so root slash inventory dot text file let us run the playbook and see how exactly it's executing so now it has reached to the section of our code where it is installing multiple softwares let us wait for a minute and see how exactly this is processing further so as you can see git has been installed now it is moving to the next software next software installation should be for docker after docker the next software should be python 3 and once python 3 is completed the next software should be java so let us wait now you can see docker is installed successfully it's moving to python 3 final software which it has to install is java once java is installed our execution will be completed successfully so finally our playbook execution has completed and all the changes has been done like all the four softwares have been installed successfully in our computer if you want to validate i told you there is one command in linux rpm hyphen qa grip and your software name suppose you want to see for java you can see multiple software for java you, you want to see for docker you can see docker if you want to see for python 3 you can run python 3 and you can see these all softwares are almost available in your system now as we understood clearly how the looping concept works in ansible let us proceed further with the conditional statement in ansible so now we, we have a separate code for conditional statement in ansible so the same code we are using but here we want to install four software but we want to make sure that only when our when condition so when condition is when, wherever you want to apply your when condition you have to make sure when condition is coming parallel to the module so here we have m module so it's exactly parallel to the m module so this m module will execute only when this condition is satisfied so what is written in the condition let us see when colon ansible fact as i told the gather fact is gathering this ansible fact information we are talking about a variable called distribution distribution is like if it is sent to us or it's ubuntu or it's red hat or it's debian operating system any operating system so it is talking about uh, it is telling that if in the ansible fact you have the information related to distribution of operating system make sure it is sent to us and ansible facts and uh, distribution major version if its major version is 7 then only execute this playbook otherwise it should escape so let us do one thing first check in your target computer what is the version of send to as well so cat slash etc red hat hyphen release so you can see the operating system is sent to us and version is 7.8 which is equal to 7 right so now what we can do in the conditional dot yml first make the condition false so what we will do we will make the os version instead of 7 we will put it 6 and let us run our playbook so ansible hyphen playbook then conditional dot yml hyphen i slash root inventory dot text file and let us see how it happens so right now it is gathering fact and then you can see it has skipped all the installation because the condition was not matching so because centos version is 7 and in our condition we have put it as centos 6 so it has not matched the specified when condition so it has skipped it now let us do one thing last time we have installed all the software so it's again got installed i'm just removing all those softwares again from the system and then we'll run the playbook again so now i have removed all the software from the target system 
Now let us do one thing. Let us run our playbook again. But this time our operating system version is sent to as 7. So put the correct version in your when condition. So now correct version is updated here. Now run your playbook again and let us see what happens. So right now gather fact is working. Gather fact has been completed. Now it is again trying to install the software. So let us see. As of now, our all conditions are matching. So it should be able to successfully install all the software based on our conditions. In companies, you can get this kind of requirement where your uh, team wants to install maybe 100 software or want to start some service or want to stop some service or maybe want to do many other changes. But with condition, then in those cases, you can use this gather fact information in when condition and you can do those changes without going to the system or validating anything. You can just put all these conditions in the when conditional and you can run your playbook blindly. So now you can see this time it has not escaped the execution of our software. It is actually installing the software. So this is the beauty of using Ansible conditional. So I hope this concept is quite clear to you. In case you guys have any doubts, please put in the comment section. All these um, code which we are using here will be uploaded to Git repository. You can get all the code from Git repository. Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time. Let us meet in next video again. Thank you.